what's up guys, welcome back. Um, so this week's training video, I had the opportunity to do a training session at the indoor facility that I run coaching lessons at. And so I had some clients before and after, and I had a gap where I could get in a workout myself, so I took that time to do that. Um, so I did a plyometric workout, and then I got some touches on the ball, and then I did some ball striking. And so the facility that I train at is called Fury Performance and it's in Woodstock, Georgia that's just north of Atlanta. So if you're an athlete in the Atlanta area looking to get some training, then Fury would be a great place for you. Um, so be sure to check them out. I've linked them in the uh, description below. In the video, you'll see me doing some tuck jumps with some lateral jumps along with some ball skills where I'm just getting touches on the ball, doing some dribbling. Um, and then at the end, I did some ball striking, just hitting the ball um, to the net, more striking and shooting. And so I made some of the videos slow-mo videos, so that way you can see um, some of the technique and just the breakdown of how to strike the ball, and also some slow motion on the tuck jumps on just how to use your arms to get some height and get your knees to your chest, and then kind of the lateral shuffle along with that. So you guys check it out, and let me know what you think in the comments below, and we'll see you guys next time. All right guys, so here the drill that I have set up is three tall hurdles with a lane of cones on the left and the right. And what I'm doing is a tuck jump over the hurdle um, where I'm getting my knees to my chest and driving my arms up and then a quick lateral step to the left or the right. Um, so I did this for about 15 minutes, um, just kind of on repeat with some rest in between um, and really just trying to get that explosive movement upward. And then when I land, I'm trying to get that explosive movement to the side and then back to the middle. Um, so doing these types of workouts really help to build that explosive power and speed. Um, so that way when you're on the field and you're ready to move fast, your muscles have already done this and they're used to it and they're just flying like you want them to. So after about 15 minutes of the plyometric portion of the workout, I got the ball out just to get some quality touches on the ball. So here you'll see me doing some freestyle tricks, just having fun with the ball. But I really spent about 10 minutes getting some quality touches, some um, inside outside touches, some scissors, you'll see me do a double scissor here, um, some chops and pullbacks, just making sure that I'm real comfortable with the ball. And so it's a great way anytime you have um, just a couple minutes in between or if you're a player and you have some time in your backyard at home, just take five to 10 minutes and get out. Um, get some touches on the ball, do some juggles, do some, uh, some attacking moves, just so that way whenever you're in a game or you're in a training environment, you're real comfortable with the ball. Okay, so to finish off the session, I did some ball striking, um, just working on taking some shots onto the net right here. And so you'll see, I'm really focused on um, just my ball striking technique where I'm stepping up next to the ball. I have a good backswing. Uh, my arm is countering that movement at the same time. I make good contact with the ball and then a nice follow through. And so those are all really important things to hitting a good, nice, powerful and controlled shot. Um, so whenever you go out and you're practicing your shooting, keep in mind just those little steps where you're stepping next to the ball with your plant foot. You have a good backswing. Um, and then when you're approaching the ball, you're making good contact with your ankle locked, toes are down. So you get that big surface area right there um, and you make good contact and then you have a nice low follow through that takes your momentum through the ball. So that's where you're gonna generate all of your power. So if you have the chance, get out in the yard, get out um, at the field, work on those shots. Um, let me know if you do anything different to hit good shots um, in the comments below so that way I can work on that too.
Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button um, and then subscribe for more videos coming in the future. We'll see you guys.